students, Mrs. Hopkins here. And today I'm gonna share with you a pretty easy project that you just need just a pencil uh, and paper and you can totally do it. I'm gonna keep it really simple this time. I've got Ollie crawling up. He's very nosy down here. His head will probably pop up a couple times. Hi, can you sit here nicely? Okay, sit quietly. I guess you can be in this video. Please don't hit the table. Thank you, my friend. You wanna hold this? Can you hold it? That's the objective. Here, turn it this way so everybody can see. So I'm gonna have Ollie hold it still. Can you hold it still? Say, I can draw and design my own can of soda. I'll hold it really steady for you. Yeah, that's right. Um, I was looking around our house to see what we had as far as art supplies, and I was going through our recycling bin, and we drink a lot of soda. I'm not a coffee drinker, and one thing that I drink a lot of is Mountain Dew. <music> Gotta get that caffeine in, especially when you're keeping up with this one. So, um, I'm going to be uh, posting this video along with my demo here that I did in my sketchbook, step by step of how to draw a can of soda. Um, there's some questions in there because artists, we have to design things. So if you decide to go to art school one day, what kind of job could you have? You could end up working at a company where you design like the labels and the logos for things. Somebody has to work for Pepsi Cola or Coca Cola and they have to decide what kind of fonts they're going to put on their cans, what kind of pictures, what colors, what's going to make people want to buy that product. It might taste really good, but artists, it's our job to sell it. We, we look visually and when I see something that looks tasty, I'm already thinking about, ooh, that's gonna be really good. And the artist has to sell that. So if I see a nice, pretty Mountain Dew can with the right colors, that looks really refreshing, and it's gonna give me a zip of energy, it makes me wanna drink that. If it didn't use the right colors, like they use boring colors, maybe some like dark colors, I don't know that I would be as interested in it. So artists, we have to do things like marketing and design to sell products. So that's what you're gonna get to do. So you're gonna be drawing a can shape and you're gonna add some details and I want you to look at the shape of the can. I've got a can here, this one's Pepsi, so this is what Mr. Hopkins drinks. Um, but look at the top, you have to draw the details of the tab and how the soda comes out. And maybe you get really fancy and you draw all the sides of the can, but all I need is like the front of it. What's your soda going to be called? Is it going to be something fruity? Is it going to be something bubbly? You get to come up with your name and your flavor and your design. I can't wait to see what you guys do. All right guys, uh, let's talk about designing that soda can. Um, I'm going to make sure that this paper, my uh, instruction sheet is nice and big. I'll go full screen on that. Um, at the end of this video, but I want to go through it with, with you guys real quick. Um, I suggest using just a pencil and you're going to want to have an eraser, so in case you make mistakes, you can always fix it. Like I said earlier, um, as artists, part of our job could be selling something and you guys get to do like your own can of soda here and you know, what would make somebody want to drink that? Are you going to have a catchy name? Are you going to use really cool colors? Are you going to draw different things on the can um, as far as pictures and the logo and the design to make me want to drink your soda? So I did an art teacher pop. Um, I used my favorite colors that I knew would appeal to me and that would be my art teacher energy drink to keep me going. So the one thing you're going to want to start with is the can shape and this is a cylinder shape. Uh, you start with an oval at the top and then you draw two parallel lines that go down. And at the bottom, you don't have to do an oval, you're just gonna connect it with a curved line. So I'm gonna use a Sharpie, just because I know it's gonna show up better um, than just the pencil, so hopefully I don't make too many mistakes. But I'm gonna go ahead and do my oval here. And then I need to do my parallel lines. Um, 
and they're gonna go all the way down kind of just think about where I'm putting them um, and I'm since I'm using a sharpie I have to really think about where they're going I'm gonna go about here and about here and then instead of a straight line we want this to be round so we want to look at the kind of curve that we use at our oval and then we're gonna do that one right here now if I did another oval then my cylinder would be see-through which is fine if you're just doing a cylinder, but we want this to be a can. It's made out of metal. So I've got my can shape. I'm going to add some details. Like maybe I want to put the details of like the rim. Okay. Maybe I want to put the opening. Maybe you want to fill that in. Okay. Maybe you want to put the pull tab on. And if you look at different soda cans, I was looking at one earlier, it's kind of got another little detail in here. I looked at the bottom, it had kind of like a, a base that was a little bit smaller. So um, I would just take a look at one at your house. Like I'm sure you've got a can somewhere lying around. Um, if not, wait till trash day and uh, ask your family if you can go search it in somebody's recycling bin for one. Um, otherwise, you can look on your uh, Chromebooks and find a picture online. So I'm just looking at the details of one of the ones that I had in my house and I'm going to go ahead and go on to my next part would be add a design and a name. So you have to really put your thinking caps on here. Don't rush into it. Think about, you know, what colors you're going to want to use. What flavor of soda? Is it a grape soda? If it's grape, Maybe you want to stick with purples, different shades of purple, light purple, dark purple. Okay, if you're going with an orange soda, clearly you should go with an orange can. Okay, so lemon lime, what kind of colors do you think you use for that? What color is a lemon? Yellow. Limes are green, so maybe a yellow and green. Mountain Dew is a lemon lime soda and I use different greens on theirs. So it kind of tells you what the soda is going to taste like before you taste it. Um, so answer those questions. What flavors your soda? How are you going to advertise it? Okay. Are you someone that would put it up on social media? Who do you want to drink your soda? Okay. So these are just questions I want you to think about. Um, and if you put the information on your paper and you post it up on our Google Classroom, I'm gonna be super impressed with you. And how much does your product cost? Is this a really fancy soda? Is it a gold-plated can? I don't know. I'm a teacher, so I wanna stay on a budget, so I need to keep my soda pretty cheap. So I'm gonna say mine's like a dollar a can. And I think I'm gonna go with a grape soda today. I know, normally I wouldn't think that, but Hmm, gotta think of a fun name. I'm gonna start with my grapes so though. Maybe that'll help me think. And that's where I'm gonna put my title or my name of my soda. So I'm gonna just go with a big Big fat letters. Now, if you do bubble letters, that's pretty cool. Bubble letters would be awesome. Um, you can do any lettering that you want. I'm just gonna keep it simple. You guys have time to come up with awesome names. I can't wait to see cre how creative you are. Um, and how would you advertise it? Uh, I would probably say mine needs to be on a Super Bowl commercial because those things get like a million views. So that's how I would sell my soda. It's up to you. I think it would be a little bit fun project to see um, everybody's pictures posted all in the, the Google Classroom together and look at all of our different cans of soda and see if anyone came up with the same flavors. Boys and girls, I can't wait to see uh, how these turn out. And I know that we showed you the objective earlier with Ollie, but let's just review it. It's uh, I can draw and design my own can of soda. So we talked about that cylinder shape and you're adding details and you guys are coming up with your own design, your name, your flavor. And then you're thinking about, you know, how would you market it? How would you sell it? And I will put this paper right here, big screen for you. All right, have fun boys and girls.